find time. Oh shit, we're playing. To let those brats escape. Find time. I don't remember the buttons to this. There's no need for that. You're going to die here anyway. You know that. <laughs> oh my god, I don't remember the buttons to this. Okay, we keep flying past each other. All right, um, hello, welcome to uh, Dragon Ball Z Universe. I'm gonna finish up this fight, and then we'll talk more about uh, what's going on and stuff like that in the playthrough or whatnot. As soon as I get to a menu and stuff, we are apparently in the middle of a Goku Frieza fight. Starting out big, this fight's kind of important to the series. But uh, welcome to Dragon Ball Z Universe, guys. Uh, if you're watching this the moment it comes out, it should be about 12:01 uh, a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Just like I did your earthling friend! What do you mean? Alright, I only have so much energy left, so I shouldn't talking snap banish again. Trillin? I know that much. Don't you dare talk about Krillin! Don't you dare talk about Krillin, bitch! We ain't about that life! Oh my god, I'll talk more <laughs> when we get into it. I'm trying to remember the controls, though. It's been since the beta test since I've done this. But hey, we beat Frieza. Not a bad, not a bad intro warm-up fight. Frieza was not hard at all, which is expected, pretty much. All right, now it looks like we're moving on to Cell. Up already. That's a oh, shame. Cell's voice. I really want to save the best for last. It's not awful. It's just different. Spirit explosion. Okay, okay, that blocks. All right, I know what that is. All right, here we go. You know the rules. Time to bring back the rules. We always follow up with the Kamehameha, not a Kamehameha, we always follow up with a Beam Blast after that. How can I do this forever? Yo, I can do this forever. We'll end it, but I could have legitimately done that forever. I don't know if he can get out of it or not. Alright, bitch. Good god, alright. I wonder why we're Goku and not Gohan for this fight. Maybe we're sticking, maybe Goku's kind of like the backup main character? I can't wait, like, I'm really excited. This is kind of, this is a really cool way to start a game, but I can't wait till this gets done. Like, I'm, su I'm assuming we'll fight Boo next. Um, so that way I can explain just kind of like the background of what exactly is going on and keep you guys up to speed. Um, but yeah, we'll get through one other fight, I guess. I probably should have stayed quiet through these three fights, but oh well. F the police. <clears throat> okay, now Frieza didn't do this. Oh no, we're moving on anyway. Okay, they're introducing it. They're introducing it. Alright, alright. This is cool. <laughs> Sorry, I'm excited. I'm finally playing Xenoverse. And I'm ruining the cutscenes. Oh, please let me go Super Saiyan 3. Yes! I better start fighting with everything I've got. If we lose Damn right, we better! Okay, blue block. Eh, boo blocked part of that. Look at that! Look at the destruction! Look at that! I left a crater! It goes back because uh, apparently previous gen consoles couldn't handle that or whatnot and they couldn't get it done. But. I'm just gonna keep spamming. When you're in Super Saiyan form, you can spam. And I'm supposed to be losing key slowly, but I think because this is the intro level, I'm not. So don't worry, don't think this is gonna be a total spam fest of the game because it will fix itself. Oh, hold on, wait, check this out, check this out, check this out. Sup, bitch? Did you see me phase through that shit? Oh my god, boo, you were ill equipped! He was not ready. Cutscene time. Yeah. 
history is changing? The flow of time. Something's very odd about it. At this rate, history... No. Everything will collapse. Okay, so this is the intro cutscene, but unfortunately, I know this is super badass, I know this is super awesome, but I have to talk over this, and I might even make the uh, game audio quiet during this. What's playing in the background right now is Chala Hedshala. It's super badass. It's the new version of Chala Hedshala, but this is the opening cutscene of Dragon Ball Z Universe. It played before the game started. That's how I know this. I haven't played any of this game outside of the beta from months ago. Um, but anyways, no, I'm talking over this now because if I do decide to leave it in, I'll leave it in very quietly. But I tried to upload a video with Chala Hedshala in back when the beta was out, and it turns out uh, they're really, really, really touchy about that on YouTube. So if Hedshala comes through on the audio, then I will be... Uh, it will be automatically muted and or I will get a copyright strike, which is 100% not okay on YouTube. Uh, but anyways, this is Dragon Ball Z Universe. This is the opening cutscene. Uh, as you can see, they're playing with time. Just to kind of fill you guys in on what I know, I know that there's, at this point, if you're watching this on, uh, the, Feb the 24th, I guess, is when I'm, I'm first allowed to upload it. There is other footage on YouTube, uh, but we kind of have this partnership thing. Not a partnership. We have a relation with Bandai Namco. They're the ones who got us the game early. The moment the game got into North America, we were able to get our hands on it, um, and as an exchange, they said you're not allowed. There's 100% an official embargo until the 24th, which is why I couldn't upload it until today. I'm playing Give the game kind of early. a strong early ally, now. someone with the kind of power to help me defend time itself. This wish I ask of you, Shinron. Your wish is granted. Okay, I'll explain more in a second. Someone summoned you from a land far away. Uh huh. Brave warrior, now come forth. Shenron is calling on us. You have to push X to fast forward those screens, as I found out. I just sat there like a moron, waiting for it to go, and it never, never went. But. Joke's on you, I record everything. This is beautiful! Okay, okay, I gotta go, I gotta go do two things. Ah! Oh! <laughs> this is amazing. Okay, I gotta go, I gotta go do something real quick. I will cut until I come back. One second, guys. Okay, we're back. So everybody, what's going on? It's Thundershot. Welcome to Dragon Ball Xenoverse. Um, I have a really messed up Coke can, but believe you me, I'm drinking vanilla Coke right now. So what happened is, is that I dropped it outside before we came in, and now the can's all messed up. I got it open, but the crack is not there, but believe you me. We're drinking vanilla coke today. Anyway, so this is Dragon Ball Z Universe. I am uploading this on 12.01, the moment that it comes out, the moment that it's officially released, it's being uploaded to YouTube to check that out. Um, so here's the deal. Xenoverse, people have had it. The Japanese copy's been out since the 5th. People have gotten it uh, really early in Europe somehow. I was going to upload and stream it early because I got the game early. However, uh, like I said earlier, we have kind of a relation with Bandai Namco, and they said there's an official embargo. Anyone who breaks this embargo, pretty much, we're never going to work with anyone who breaks this embargo. The, the embargo is official until release day. <clears throat> so we had to wait till it comes out. There are people who uploaded it early, um, but if I were to do that, I would lose my ties with Bandai Namco. Those people who did it obviously don't have ties with Bandai Namco, so that's why that's a thing. But this is Dragon Ball Z Universe. A uh, brand new game just came out. Uh, this is the official playthrough, and like I said, I couldn't live stream this because of the embargo, but I think this is my plan right now. You can be any race you see before you, but because this is the official playthrough, um, I am going to start, and this is my plan, I'm going to start with Saiyan Race here today. Now, I don't know how long this video part's going to be, but once it's over, uh, if you're watching this the moment it comes up, I'm getting ahead of myself. Uh, I'm going to start, my YouTube playthrough will be a Saiyan, uh, a Saiyan race. So we're going to do our playthrough as a, as a male Saiyan race, I'm going to do that right now. However, if you're interested in seeing another race, I believe, uh, I sh I'll be live streaming, I'll leave my Twitch link in the description down below, and I will be live streaming my Freezer race playthrough, uh, over on Twitch.tv. It might not be live right now, but be sure to follow me so you can get emails when I go out. Uh, my Twitter will be in the description, be sure to check that out, because I'll tweet out when I go live. And so along with YouTube Saiyan Race playthrough being uploaded, I'll also be live streaming and then probably uploading later. Uh, my Frieza Race playthrough, or our, I don't know if they're called Arcosian still or not, but yeah. So Saiyan playthrough on YouTube, Frieza Race playthrough on Twitch, which will be coming to YouTube eventually. Just wanted to point that out. Let's get into creating our character. Oh my god, I'm so hyped for this. 
Um, actually, I, I kind of want to go through and see what all of them are exactly. Uh, Majid males have more health and they move slower. Females have higher speed but lower health. Okay, so they're just exact opposites of each other. Um, that kind of sucks for the female race. The female race looks super cool and it's nice to be fast, but lower health is not something that uh, appeals to me very much. Uh, males have stronger melee attacks. Buffs last longer, but super moves are not as strong. That sucks balls too. Um, females can use Z assist moves more frequently, better key stamina recovery, but have lower health. Okay, they changed that from the beta, because in the beta, they had better key attacks. Not just recovery, they had better key attacks in general, so that is interesting. Earthlings, males have stronger strike attacks, females have stronger key blast super attacks. Okay, never mind, this is, a. Uh... This is what the Saiyan race was in the beta, essentially. Or Earthling, maybe it was only Earthling in the beta. Okay, that's what I was thinking of, though. Namekian. Low attack, but high health and stamina. Oh, shit, no. No, 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 no. I didn't mean to pick that. <laughs> Low attack, but high health and stamina, uh, but high health and stamina refills quickly. Items are more effective than other races, and health uh, is regenerated when low. So, low attack. Namekian seems like the most boring playthrough to me, only because you have a high defense and a shitty offense, so every fight's gonna last a long time. Uh, and that might be more strategic. I'm sure a lot of people will enjoy that, but... Excuse me. Uh, that just makes for more boring fights for me. Arcosian, fast speed but low attack, can paralyze enemies with key blasts, speed bonus when HP is low. That's also kind of iffy. There's a lot of low health buffs here. We're going to be a male Saiyan for one reason, one reason only. Uh, Super Saiyan transformations. Super noobs not being as strong sucks, but we might get uh, good, some good attack buffs, like some good attacking moves. We'll see about that. So let's go ahead and change our appearance. Oh, do we want to be tall? Oh, shit. I'm thinking standard height, maybe a little shorter. I'm about six foot one. We'll just go the standard that one. Body type. Skinny, normal, fucking jacked. Ugh, that's tough because I want to be jacked, but this dude almost looks fat. I don't want to be standard on everything, but we'll do that. All right. Uh, our head hair. God, but dude, this dude has the chin. All right, there's the Yamcha hair. This is my default. If I don't find anything else that I absolutely love, we're falling back to some Yamcha hair. Why would you pick a Saiyan and be a bald guy? Alright, the hair selection options could be better. There definitely could be more. Uh, but, I like the idea... Or, I don't like the idea. Maybe we can unlock more hairstyles as we go on? So we'll figure it out. Also, please no spoilers, like I was saying earlier. Again, excuse me. Like I was saying earlier, I have not seen any spoilers on this game. I have no idea what the story... Even though the game's been out for a while, I've been making it my own mission to not go... Uh, to not look into any spoilers. I don't know what happens in the story. I know, like, the baseline of the story, but I don't know anything that happens. I don't know what you unlock in the game. I don't know what's hidden from the beginning. I don't know any of that stuff. So, <clears throat> keep that in mind. Uh, and please, no spoilers in the comment section down below. Uh, it's just kind of a thing I'm going to throw out there. What kind of eyes? Went? All right, first of all, i got to change this dude's fucking jaw. This is not... This jaw is not flying. I don't like his mouth either. I don't like anything about this guy right now. <laughs> Maybe that one? Either one or two? Four is the fucking job, Justice. My god, man, get that out of here. <gasps> the Yamcha Scar! We're rocking the Yamcha Scar. Um, do I have to have a frowny face? Am I pissed off all the time? I'm liking that nose. I don't, almost don't even want to go through the others. Bum, bum. I'm so pumped to play. Oh, the Krillin? No nose, McGee. I'm not going to make my guy look super weird on this first run through. We will have other playthroughs, probably, or at least I will have other characters made. Uh, where my character looks insane. Alright, now let's get those eyes the way we want them. I like that one, they're super big. Or we can be the pissed off guy, or pissed off guy with no eyebrows. If you want to, you can essentially make your character look pretty much just like a Super Saiyan God. Alright, do we want type 1 or type 5 diabetes up in here? I don't see a huge difference. I think five is a little bigger. We're gonna go with one. Um, color. Skin tone, here we go. Um, if I wanted to be my natural skin color, it'd be somewhere in this area. But let's go with, I like that. All right, so my, super dude, my first dude's gonna be super standard. So if you hate the fact that, uh, look at that. We got Super Saiyan God colors up in here. Look at that shit. That's Super Saiyan God right there. That's him. Um, 
I had black hair in the beta because I like to make a straight up Yamcha clone, essentially. If I could swing it. But we're going to switch it up here. I know this is kind of a goofy hairstyle. Or hair color, but I kind of like it. And it like it like like Um, Proceed. Oh, here we go. Name and voice. All right, all right. Uh, so voice eight, as we've already made a video on, is Ghost Snapper. That's voice snapper, but I don't want to go with voice snapper. I'm gonna use him on a different on a different voice snapper. Go snapper. Like the real talk I had a one on one, but I don't want to use that because this first playthrough I want it to be semi serious. I want my character to actually kind of look badass on this first one, and the go snapper voice would just throw that all the shit. So let's just keep looking. Are these female voices? Go to the deepest one they have. That that's Vegeta. That's so Sabat. <laughs> ah that's Nappa. Oh, that might be our voice. I'm liking five. I'm liking five the most so far. Or Vegeta. That's also Vegeta. Fuck. Ten or four. We're gonna go five. Fuck it, I'm going five. Oh, time to pick our name, boys. We are Thundershot. Alright. So this first episode might be kind of long. Hopefully I fast forward through a lot of the editing and stuff. I might fast forward through the whole thing. But this first episode might go a little longer than all the rest of all the other ones. So that way you guys get to see at least some action in what's going on here. Um, I like it up close, nice and personal. Close or far, I keep it balanced. I'll hang back and blast them. So... Uh, skill based towards strikes, based towards key blast, or begin the game with good balance of key and skill. So, uh, we are a Saiyan, we are a male Saiyan, so our attacks actually do a lot more. And our key blasts kind of suck. But I don't want to completely abandon the ability to fire key blast, so I think I'm going to go balance. With, I think starting key blast on a male Saiyan is probably the worst thing you can do. Um, if you really like the whole melee thing. Fuck, we might do that, we might be an all-out melee. Having skills based towards strikes would be nice. We're going to keep it balanced for now, and I'll just pick where I want to go from there. Let's go. <clears throat> Let's do this!
I'll punch you, bitch. You're surprised, I'm sure. I'll have to explain it all to you later. For now, let's see how much power you have. Oh, let's go. <clears throat> Trunks test. L to move, R to move the camera angle, X to jump and rise, L3 to descend. While holding the boost button, use L2 plus L to execute a boost dash. While moving, tap the boost button. Or while holding L2, flick L to do a step dash. Toggle lock on with R1 when there are multiple enemies. Use R to switch targets while locked on. Your movement and attacks will be focused on the target you're locked onto. Square is weak attacks, triangle is strong attacks, and can be altered to change up your combos. You can view the combo list in the pause menu by pressing options. Circle for regular key blast, hold down the button to shoot multiple regular key blast. Press L1 plus circle simultaneously to throw. This is effective against blocking enemies. Press triangle plus circle simultaneously to do a knockback attack. Yeah. Come at me anytime. Uh -oh. You think I fuck around? I guess we're still doing this. When an enemy is blocking all of your attacks, hold down triangle to do a charge attack. Charge attacks can cause guard breaks when connected. Some charge attacks can also be done during the combos, which the, uh, watch the enemies closely to hit them with charge attacks. You can view the combo list by pressing options. And about that life right now. While performing a combo, press X to vanish and to circle around the enemy. Using vanish during combo attack, we use two stamina bars. You cannot vanish if you have insufficient stamina, which our stamina and key both sucks right now. Hi yeah! There we go. Hold L1 to guard against enemy attacks. While guarding, your stamina will gradually deplete. When you are completely out of stamina, you will enter a guard break state. When you put in when you put in a guard break state, when put in a guard break state, you'll lose your balance until your stamina is fully recovered. You cannot use any action that requires stamina during this time. Guard right at the moment the enemy attacks to perform a just guard. When a just guard is successful, your opponent will be temporarily stunned, allowing you to attack back. You will also gain one bar of key, so try to just guard whenever you can. Uh, while taking damage from enemy attacks or being hit while guarding, press X to activate vanish and appear behind your opponent. When you are taking damage, you, you will need two stamina bars when guarding. You will need one stamina bar if you do not have sufficient stamina. Uh, vanish cannot be used. I ain't worried about him attacking me right now. Holding R2 will bring up the super attack guide. Alright, I know how to do that. Uh, holding L2 and R2 simultaneously will bring up the ultimate attack guide. Uh, okay. Holding L2 and R2 simultaneously will bring up the ultimate attack controls guide. You can assign one evasive skill to X. Neat. Looks like the little warm-up is complete. Now, it's about time you showed me your full strength. Bitch, you think I hold back? Oh, that sucked. Wow, that move. No, it doesn't. Okay, I was about to say, wow, that move sucks, but they actually did all come in and hit him. Finish him. Wow, did he land a punch? I don't think he threw a punch. I didn't let him throw a punch. We're too real. Damn right, Z rank. I'm rich now. I beat a man by fighting. You were chosen. Chosen by Shinron. Sorry for attacking you, by the way. I'll introduce myself. I'm Trunks, and I'm currently on a mission. Okay. As you can see, this place, it's not the world you're familiar with. You know, oh fuck, I should have made my creative character Roman Reigns. Alright, anyway. This is the Toki Toki world where the flow of time gathers. You can call us the Time Patrol. When history goes off course, a false timeline is created. We work to correct any of these changes to history. As Time Patrol members, we'll fight all throughout time. Sometimes, we deal with legendary fighters or dangerous forces. What you think? There's an infinite number of timelines, and they can all be fucked up at any given moment. Doesn't your job never really end? I, I don't know. That's confusing shit to think about. Would you like to test your power here? See how effective it is? Uh, oh, right. I should probably explain a few things first. 
Yeah, Trunks. Look around. In this space, there are many other Time Patrol members. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not impressed with the whole X to fast forward through the cutscene thing. This is very, like, PlayStation 1-y. You know what I mean? PlayStation 1, early PlayStation 2, when you press it, like, you'll see his, you'll see his expression change instantly, and it's almost not even smooth, the way that this works. I like that it gives you a chance to read it, don't get me wrong, but still. If you'd like, go ahead and talk to them. I'll hear your answer after you've had the chance. Alright, we get to actually move in the free roaming world as our character for the first time. I miss old Taki Taki City music. This is the field of time of Taki Taki City. There is also the industrial sector and the time machine section here. You'll see time patrollers everywhere. Try talking to them. Chat list, chat log, change target, movement, camera control, map, emotes, <laughs> check player info, jump, cancel. Oh, you could jump. I forgot you can jump. Speak decide. All right. Uh, I know the I know the areas and the law. Yeah. Okay. Good. So first time seeing this in, well, no, I have seen this in English, poor am I? Talking to NPCs with the event icon over the heads can initiate events or give you valuable information. Talk to as many NPCs as you can. I've always been the kind of guy who likes doing that stuff. Uh, rip old Taki Taki City music. Can I go into the water? No. Cloak. Hakusa. Mora. I should wish to Shenron for him to be my friend next time. Shenron looks cool and has a deep voice. And it'll be fun riding his back. Okay, alright, getting away from that girl and never coming back. Let's go talk to M.I. Is that noise just this guy? I'm assuming that noise is just this guy. Sir. We time patrollers defend the flow of time and guide it to its correct role. Evildoers who try to distort history will get our attention. We need power to fight those kinds. That's why we train regularly. All right, that was the least useful information ever, and I hope to God. Uh, other people have more information. Wow, you're tiny. It's like a little Roshi. It's like a little young Roshi. Yep. Hey, bro, working hard as a time patroller. Are you a newcomer? Here's a token of my friendship. Always watching over you. Good luck. Energy capsule S, bitches. Cannot go there. All right, denied. You are denied entry. The fuck are you? Hello there. Hello there. That's the weirdest voice you could have had. I'm not gonna lie. If there's anything you don't know about the versus mode, PQ or Taki City, you can ask me. Database is currently loading. Okay. Uh, I don't think the NA servers at the time I'm recording this is currently February 19th. Uh, so I don't think the NA servers are actually up yet. So why not? Mine might not look the same as yours once you start because there might actually be real people running around here. But I have to play an offline one because I don't think that the NA servers are live yet. Yeah, I'm totally an offline one. <clears throat> Why couldn't we be a robot? I'm just kidding. That would have been a cool created character, though. What the fuck are you? It's a little yellow Majin Saiyan. With a Ginyu outfit on. Oh my god, it's adorable. I am keeping you. You're coming with me. Let's go. Oh my god, they got cuter and fatter! It's a baby! What the hell is this thing? It's so confused! I'm confused, man! Oh, oh my god, I don't know if that was creepy or adorable. Alright, we're gonna keep running, though. Information booth? I don't need any information now. Alright. I'm pretty sure you could run through those things in the beta, but that's cool. I don't know if there's any more people I should be talking to around here. Oh, hey, come here! Parcel! Parcel! This is a Freezer Race character. You can make Freezer Race characters look like Cell. That's how cool this is. Yeah, stop walking, dickface. I'm trying to talk to you. I time travel to fix distortions in history. Distortions can cause catastrophe. You should be careful, too. All right, everyone has told me that so far. I don't know why that's so important. I got to check if, there was hi if there's anybody hiding. I remember in the beta, I did a, uh, I would do hide and seek. And, I don't know, reward the first people who could find me. Is this Snake Way, by the way? This, this totally isn't Snake Way. Snake Way doesn't wrap around this. It just looks a lot like it. Cool building, cool building. I like it. I like the place, like the flow, like the feel. Now, the last area I was in in this area were in the beta, so I have been through here before. Uh, Katie? Like your hair? Like your hair? Harry? Harry looks like a nerd. You do your thing, Harry. Another fatso. This one's a normal size, though. <laughs> He's pissed! He's angrily looking for something. Okay. 
Us? Little baby first form Frieza with a cooler mask. Hmm, you're a stranger. Are you the new time patroller? You gotta be strong to do the job. A, a greenhorn like you thinks you can do it? Uh, I suppose so. I believe in me, I guess. I have no idea what the fuck it You're tall as shit, dude. I have no idea what I'm doing here, by the way. Was I just made? Did Shenron just make me out of nowhere and all of a sudden I exist to help Trunks? Or was I actually, like, living another life like I had a family, like I was taking my kid to baseball practice and shit like that? And then, out of the blue, I just teleport to here because Trunks needs my help. Because it's kind of a dick move on their end. Cloak? Sir. Oh, so you're the warrior summoned by Sen Shenron. There's rumors going around saying you're a special elite member. Not exactly what I expected. People aren't always what they seem. I'm also a time patroller, which means I'm your senior. Hee hee hee. If you ever need anything, tell me. Yeah, if I ever need anything, I'll punch you in the throat. I'll teach you what it means to be a time patroller. Alright, world tournament stuff, which again, I'm, I'm in offline mode, so I sh shouldn't even bother talking to those guys right now. Alright, we've explored pretty much every aspect of this, and I don't think there's anyone else to talk to. I, I might have missed, like, one person, but they probably would have said the same shit everyone else did. You can get so... I cannot wait to be live-streaming the Frieza playthrough, which by the time this video is up, I will be live-streaming the Frieza playthrough over on Twitch. But I cannot wait to get to that, but because the cr customize it, yeah, the creatable character options look insane for those guys. Customization options. Alright, Trunks, I'm back. Hey! Don't be a dick about it, man. Seeing that you're here, that means that you want to help the Time Patrol. Thank you so much. I wasn't worried. I wish Shenron to be bring me someone strong that can fight with me. Come this way. I think I have the music a little bit too loud in my ears. It was, like, making me deaf. Ooh. We call this the Time Nest. The Time Nest. The Supreme Kai of Time lives here and manages this entire place. We also have the Time Vault. It has many important texts. Ah, I like texting. There's something I need you to take care of. Not a big deal. So let's head over to the Time Vault. Not a big deal. It's gonna be like Super Saiyan 4 Broly or something. 